Hello and welcome to another Resolve tutorial. Today I've got a really quick one for you guys. It's a conforming trick. I've got my example timeline set up and I've attached an offline reference file to this sequence. Um, you can see it if I hit Control W on the keyboard here. This brings my reference file onto my screen. I've done that by changing my reference mode to offline. If you guys want me to do a separate tutorial on this process, let me know in the comments below. In previous videos when I've been conforming in Baselight, um, I have kept the offline reference on a wipe. And that's how I've cross-checked my offline reference with my conform sequence. I don't do this now, however. I found that I was missing small uh, details, especially small transforms or stabilizations. It wasn't very clear. So my new method is to jump to the first frame, do a quick comparison, jump to the last frame, do a quick comparison, and jump to the middle of the frame and do a quick comparison. Now this is very easy to do in Baselight. There is a shortcut key for all of those points, the beginning, middle, and end of your shot. In Resolve, to my knowledge, there is not a shortcut key to jump to the middle of the shot. So I went onto the trusty Facebook group, Blue Collar Post Collective. If you're not a part of that post-production group, definitely join, it's a fantastic tool. And I asked everyone on there if they had a hack. And these lovely gentlemen had the answer for me. So I'm going to show you how to jump to the middle of a shot on the color tab using this hack. So if we go up to DaVinci Resolve Preferences and jump into the User tab and jump to the Color tab, and there is this option in the General Settings. Automatically queue, this is normally set to zero, automatically queue a set number of frames into timeline clips. Now, if you set this to the max, which is 9,999, and hit save. Now, whenever we try to skip to the next shot using the down arrow, it is going to recognize that it can't queue 9,999 frames and it will jump to the middle of the shot. So now just using the down arrow key and the up arrow key, I have a hot key of sorts to jump to the middle. So when I'm conforming, this is what I'll do. I'll jump to the middle of the shot using the down arrow. I'll hit control W to jump between my offline and my online. Hit the colon semicolon key to jump to the first frame, control W to jump back and forth. I'm going to hit the quotation mark key to jump to the end frame and to do the same. And then I will repeat. So I'll hit the down arrow to jump to the middle, colon key, jump back and forth, quotation mark key, hit back and forth, jump to the next middle of the shot. And in this way, I can start to see errors. Like in this shot, what I would do next is I would have a look at the source time code of my shot compared to the source time code burnt into the offline, and I can see there's a disparity of one second. Um, so then I would jump to my edit tab and I would fix this, four more frames, and now we have a matching clip. And we're back in business. Now I'm you know checking the first middle frame. And again, I'm doing that just with preferences, user, color, automatically queuing the max number of frames um, in this dialog box here. So a very quick video for you guys today. Hope that one was helpful. Uh, this has changed the way that I conform in Resolve. But let me know as well if you want me to do a conforming tutorial for you guys in Resolve. But otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching.